96. 97. Um, 90. what are you doing? 99. What are you doing? 100. <laughs> What does it look like I'm doing? I'm training for my once in a lifetime sheep hunt up in Alaska. What? Yeah. I know a guy that sheep hunts in Alaska. Really? Yeah. Who? Um, is his name is like Greg. Greg. Greg Nolting? Um, a little bit younger. Greg Olson? The tight end? Mm, a, a little less cool. Craig. Oh. Craig. Is he is he the guy that that married us? Yes. Yes. Oh. That guy. Just about two weeks ago. Oh. Yep. The guy yep. Married two us. weeks ago. Okay. Mm. Craig. I feel like Craig. I with like Pete. Pavic? Greg, Greg Pavic. Yes, yes, I yes, I know Greg Pavic. He just he's gonna be our associate pastor here at Living Word. No. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. The best. <laughs> Greg, in all seriousness, from the bottom of our hearts, congratulations and thank you so much that you've. You've had such an impact in in us as individuals and in us as a couple and especially through our engagement just thank you so much for for being so obedient and for pouring so much into us and and pouring into so many people around you it, it's blessed us and we're blessed even greater that you and erica and the boys have have chose to, to continue on this mission here at living word and just thank you so much for that. We're so excited for the next chapter. Mm -hmm. And yes, congratulations. Yay. So this new preacher we got, what, what are we going to call him? Um, preacher Pavic? I don't know, probably Padre Pavic. Uh, we could go with Parsons Pavic. Oh, let's just call him Pastor Greg. Pastor Greg. You know, it's kind of plain, but that's good. Pastor Greg... You know us. We we just cherish your friendship so much, and uh, we look forward to growing in faith together at uh, Living Word, and, and we're just happy to have you here as our spiritual leader. And we are so blessed to have both you and Erica and your little family. In congratulations, our, Greg. Congratulations. Thank you. Greg is official! That's like, super exciting. We can't thank you and Erica enough for opening up your home every Tuesday night and even beyond that. And the great friends that you are and your crew. We just really love you guys and can't wait to see where you go in our church. You're the man, Greg Pavic. We love you. Congratulations, Greg. We are so excited for, for you and for your family. Um, all of you guys are certainly a blessing to us and to our family, and we couldn't get, be more excited to, to watch you continue to use your gifts um, and to do good works. Uh, we truly, like I said, you truly are a blessing, and we are just so excited for you all. Yep. Congrats, buddy. Uh, we're excited that you are called to do this. Uh, you know, it's it's been quite evident that you're you're meant to be here um we are been blessed with you for a while and we're grateful that you'll be able to bless us for a while more yet um we love you um we just get to call you pastor pavic now uh for the alaskan crew we get to call you pastor smurf so that'll that's gonna have to stick uh, congrats again bud we love you Jacob, Ave and I have been so blessed by your ministry, and it is exciting to know that we get to keep being blessed by it. I am encouraged by your authenticity, your humor, your heart, your relationship abilities, and your desire for people to know their Savior. While I will continue to do my part in keeping you, Pastor Dave, and Joe on task at staff meetings, I can truthfully say that I've never had to work to keep any of you on mission. You know that what you do is a calling and carries a great purpose. So thank you and congratulations. Greg, words can't uh, fully express what you've meant to me over the last nine months. You've been such an amazing 
mentor and friend. You've been a clear answer to prayer. I'm so glad you're sticking around so we can continue to keep Caitlin and Dave and Jackie off topic in staff meetings. So, no, love you a lot, man. Can't wait to see what God's going to do through you and um, his his plans here at Living Word. So, awesome. Congratulations, Greg, to you and your family. Um, Joel and I are just so thankful you accepted God's calling to Living Word. We certainly are more than blessed that um, you are our new pastor. Um, we are just thanking Jesus and praising him. Um, that you are here and that you're staying with us, that you're going to guide us, um, uh, that you have a vision for our church. This is just so exciting. Um, just rock on. Um, we'll be there with you and following you through this whole thing. We'll be praying for you. This is just so exciting. Woohoo! <laughs> Hey there, Greg. I just wanted to congratulate you on becoming a homecoming king. I'm just kidding. Uh, the associate pastor, the AP, it's got a great ring. I like it. Can't wait. Can't wait for your business cards. But in all seriousness, Greg, it's just so happy for you and, and the fam that you guys have been uh, confirmed and will continue on here too. It's been such a blessing getting to know you and, and for your guidance and, and spiritual uh, wisdom, both at our time at SMSU and, and now continuing uh, here into the Marshall area. So it's an exciting time. So congrats, Greg, and best of luck in the future. Hey, Greg, just a quick message to tell you congratulations. We are beyond thrilled that we get to keep um, walking alongside of you at Living Word. Um, how much better can it be to have a pastor who is also an awesome friend? Um, so we just so thankful that for you, we're thankful for your family, and just hope for many more blessed years um, walking alongside of you guys. Congratulations, Congratulations Greg. Greg. Love ya. He likes, so here we go. Greg, you're a cool dude who follows our Lord. You came to this church site to help spread the word. You went down to Sioux Falls to study and pray. You learn more of Jesus day after day. Erica and both boys encourage with love, putting their trust in our God from above. Ordained and eager to preach and to serve, we all are so blessed it's a living word. Today we are happy, our pastor you'll be. We praise God together on bended knee. Greg, you are a cool dude, and we are so happy to have you as our pastor. Blessings to you. Greg, I just want to encourage you, brother, keep walking in your in the, the path that you were given, allowing the light to shine on that path, and keep walking those footsteps as faithfully as possible. You've done a tremendous job up to this point, beyond what I have seen from other people our age. And I'm proud of you. I, I am truly, I am proud of you, the man who you are. And um, for asking the Lord for wisdom and then following the path. And uh, yeah, welcome to the next door, the next leg of the journey. So you know what you're doing. You're going to do great at it. It's just going to require a little bit more of you. So just going to pray for a quick... Uh, uh, protection over your family and, and uh, welcome you to a, a new journey, brother. All right. Heavenly Father, we just pray for Erica and the two boys, Greg's, and that they would uh, be under your protection, your wing of protection, your hedge of protection, that um, as Greg continues to walk faithfully in the calling that you've given him, that uh, the devil would stay far away, would not be able to put his hands on them. They're not the sacrifice here. You are, Lord. And we just ask, Lord, that you would watch over his family. In your name we pray. Amen. Here we go. Oh, Greg and Erica, happy wishes on this momentous occasion. 
proud of you. Wish you well. God will bless you in all your efforts. Congratulations. Happy for you. Have a great day. Hey, Greg. Uh, Rich Iverson here. I am happen to be Erica's uncle. So uh, it's been f great having a front row seat to see how God has been using you guys these last years of ministry. And now this uh, big day, ordination day for you. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day. Um, excited for you. See how the Lord's going to use you in the uh, years to come. As he has been using in the past, it's going to be more of the same. So blessings on you this day. Hello, greetings from John and Kathy Iverson. Uh, we are fortunate to know Greg because he is married to our niece, Erica. And we're so happy to have Greg in the family. Hey, it's a good thing these things are short because... Um, we don't have very many good things to say about Greg, but we can fill a very, very short video. Uh, we're just kidding there. Greg, we're so happy to have you part of the family and so excited about this day. Uh, two things stand out, Greg. First of all, your passion. Your passion for so many things. You, you love wildlife. You love nature. You love hunting. You love sports. Your passion for your family. Your passion for serving your church, for the people in the church, and your passion for serving God. Second thing that stands out, Greg, is your humility. You are a multi-talented person but you are so humble and you are such a servant and it's just awesome to see you uh, serving God in this way. Blessings to you and your family. Hey Greg, we're in Colorado here. Just want to send a shout out to you and your ordination. Just congratulations to you on that. Um, thank you for serving Living Word and the ministry you've been involved in with Living Word and the continuation of that. So once again, congratulations. And I want to tell you, Greg, how cool your wife is. Yeah, shout out to Erica and those awesome grandsons of ours, Sawyer and Lincoln. We love all of you very much. But Greg, we are so proud of you and just for your faithfulness in serving God, first and foremost, and your church there at Living Word and your family. And we just consider ourselves incredibly blessed to call you family, too. We love you, Greg. Congrats. Congratulations. Congrats, Greg. Yo, congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> uh, Greg, congrats on today and all the work that you put into getting there. We wish we could be there with uh, the rest of our family celebrating, but we're proud of you. Yes, Greg, we think you are an awesome leader and um, will continue to be. And one thing I think that makes you a really good leader is um, you don't ever pretend to have it all together. Yeah. And I think that people think you're really approachable and can trust you because of that. And um, we're really thankful for that and your your intentionality with people. And um, you just want people to know Jesus. And we're so, so thankful for that. Yeah, we're blessed to have been impacted by your ministry too as a couple and being family, just getting to be a part of your life and seeing glimpses of uh, the impact of ministry you've had with your youth, with your now congregation, with your family. Uh, mm -hmm. So again, we're proud of you. We wish you could be there, but uh, we love you. Cheering you on. Hope you have a great day. I love you. I love you. I love you, Dad. We are so ready for this adventure together and we are so proud of you.